Viewers of Alaskan Bush People, the American docudrama-style reality TV series that premiered on 6 May 2014, are hungry for information about the Brown family. That's understandable, considering that the fate of season 15 hangs in the balance and that the family is recovering from several unfortunate and downright tragic events, including property destruction from a 2020 wildfire, 2017 cancer struggles of the matriarch Amy, and the untimely death of patriarch Billy in 2021. They've come a long way, most significantly, nearly the entire nine-person family, including five sons and two daughters, relocated from a 30-acre or 0.12 square kilometers property in Huna, Alaska, USA in 2018. After briefly spending time in Los Angeles, they settled on a 435-acre or 1.75 square kilometers property, which they named North Star Ranch in Tonasket, Washington State. However, some family members, such as their sons Noah and Gabe, and daughters Bird and Rain, are homesick for their Alaskan outpost, which they call Brown Town. Returning would be difficult for most. Some married and became parents, while others live with or near Amy or are in long-term relationships. Moreover, the family's eldest son Matt left and has no contact with them. Here's how the Brown family's life changed between 2014 and 2023. The lives of all family members look different today, but Alaskan bush people aired 14 seasons because their personalities remained largely unchained, which is a testament to their genuineness. They wanted to live in the harsh conditions in Alaska, virtually cut off from civilization, without modern amenities. Billy and Amy taught sons Noah, Gabe, Bear and Bam Bam, and daughters Bird and Rain to rely on each other and their parents and their hunting, fishing, gathering, and survival skills. Matt received the same parenting, but grew tired of living with his family and left in the eighth season. Nonetheless, all family members claimed that they wouldn't be bothered if they met no other human being for months or years. That claim has changed a bit with the show's popularity, and they grew as people in the meantime. However, viewers can still see Billy's teachings in each family member, including his widow. All remaining family members enjoy the same lifestyle, and most still live on adjacent parcels of land that Billy purchased for them in 2018. They are still deeply religious, passionate about off-the-grid lifestyle, and remain capable, charismatic, and family-oriented, making viewers smile in admiration. However, we've listed some significant differences in each family member's life. Billy Brian Brown born on 3rd December 1952, did not expect to run a homestead and start a family clan that later became known as the Wolfpack. He married Amy on 16 June 1979 and remained committed to her for 42 years until his death. They first settled in Fort Worth, Texas, where Billy worked as a plumber, but quickly realized that being tied to a 9-to-5 job wasn't doing it for him, and Amy agreed. They traveled until 1983, when they sold his truck and purchased a ticket on a boat heading to Alaska, where Billy and Amy spent about a year and a half in a friend's trapper house before settling on a new property. The second significant transformation was when a producer approached Billy with an idea for a series. He noticed Billy's self-published books, notably his 2007 autobiography, One Wave at a Time, and the Alaskan Bush People TV show was born. Billy changed very little in the show, as he was always upfront about his identity and goals. He was portrayed as a loving father who was resourceful, hardworking, and competent in hunting, and preparing for and living through harsh winters. Most importantly, Billy wanted to make the show a form of a photo album or documentary consisting of home videos for his family to watch. He had a traumatic story. His father, mother, and sister died in a plane crash caused by a thunderstorm when he was 16. He was also left destitute because he was tricked into signing the family fortune away, so he was determined to provide the best for his family. Billy was devoted to Christianity, shared his love for Jesus Christ with his children, and lived according to what the Bible preached. He had authority, and his children listened because he led by example and consistently motivated them to keep going. That marked his on-screen time, and unsurprisingly, his wife and children constantly spoke of him, 
remembered his words and bits of advice, and still felt his presence after he died. The only stain on Billy's reputation was his non-violent criminal history, but he turned it around by accepting accountability and ensuring not to repeat his misdeed, which was being charged with horse theft in 1980, which went unnoticed. However, only a few months after the show premiered on 3rd October, the Juno Grand Jury indicted Billy on 60 counts of first-degree unsworn falsification. He was charged with 24 counts for stealing over $21,000 from the Alaska Permanent Fund Corporation. Billy and Joshua accepted a plea deal a year later, paid restitution and fines, and spent 30 days at a Juno hotel under house arrest. Amy was diagnosed with cancer in April 2017, and Billy realized that she couldn't get the medical help that she needed in Alaska. Therefore, he took the family to Los Angeles, California, for Amy to be treated at the UCLA Medical Center, while living in a $2.7 million mansion that Billy allegedly purchased. It had five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a primary suite, and extras such as an in-ground pool and a jacuzzi. That proved the family's leverage. The filming could have stopped, and the show could have been canceled because it no longer focused on their lifestyle in remote conditions. Yet it stayed on the air and continued filming when the family decided not to return to Alaska. Instead, Billy purchased a 440-acre property in Washington State's North Cascade Mountains in February 2018, four parcels at $415,000 each, totaling $1.6 million, and they committed to building the North Star Ranch on it. The family sold their 30-acre Alaskan property, Browntown. 14 miles from Huna on Chickagoff Island in 2019, allegedly for $795,000. The family had an excellent time in Washington State, as the community was similar to that in Alaska. Unfortunately, everything changed when Billy died aged 68 on 7 February 2021 from a sudden seizure on the property, surrounded by family. He'd had heart problems in the past, but nothing indicated a seizure. Billy predicted his death in the show only days before, saying, God has blessed me so much, but I won't be around forever. The most important thing to me is to ensure that the family core goes on. The ranch will continue forever as long as it's set up right. It must keep growing. His children shouted at him to wake up and unsuccessfully performed CPR, but to no avail. The show's filming paused for a while and resumed with the premiere of the 14th season on 2nd October 2022. Its 15 episodes focused on the life of the family without Billy's guiding hand. Amora Amy Lorene Branson Brown, born on 28 August 1963, arguably changed the least regarding her beliefs, personality, and actions. Her most serious controversy was her marriage to Billy when she was 15 and Billy 26. Although troublesome, that was legal, as a child could marry at 14 in Texas. Additionally, her parents approved of it. They took a long time to come around, but eventually agreed that Billy was a good influence and wouldn't keep Amy away from her family, and would keep her in school. Sadly, according to Amy's brother Lev, that didn't happen. Amy cut all contact, dropped out of school, and gave birth to her first child, Matt, at 18. Le also agreed with viewers who noticed that Amy seems good-natured, nurturing, determined, and loving to her children. However, he also saw that Amy rarely voices her opinion in the show and seldom speaks when Billy is there. Le, like viewers, concluded that Billy controlled her and that she may not be allowed to talk without his permission. Le also said that she promised to allow the family to visit Browntown, but that Billy forbade them to stop there when they arrived. Billy previously married Brenda Brown at 16, when she was 17, and had one daughter, Twila. Thus, the fact that they could overcome uncertainty at a young age, and that Billy made his second marriage work so well over the years represented a massive transformation for the two. Additionally, while Amy became more open after his death, she retained her meek personality, somewhat disproving the theory of Billy's controlling behavior. Another reason that any controversy flew under the radar was that Amy received a stage 3 non-small cell lung cancer diagnosis in April 2017. She had low chances of survival, but was actually in remission within four months.
she had complained of back pain in December of the previous year, and a dentist noticed a capsule in her mouth, so chemotherapy with radiation managed to tackle the issue. She remained devoted to Billy even after his death, saying that moments before he passed away, Billy told her that he loved her. She continued Billy's legacy and was committed to building a massive ranch on North Star, which included at least one barn for animals. Amy had a tough time, as besides the grieving process, she was the family estate's representative and had to handle legal issues as Billy didn't leave a valid will. An investor, Robert Mauvin, sued the estate for $500,000 because of unpaid profits that Billy owed for a book deal suggesting that Billy did not wholly abandon unlawful activities. Thankfully, Billy and Amy achieved their goal and transformed his children into autonomous, capable, motivated, family-oriented people. Some of them, such as Noah and Bird, jumped into ordeals that they promised Billy that they would do, one of which included mining for gold. Others helped Amy rebuild the household after the damage the 2020 Palmer wildfire caused. She now lives with Rain and Bird in a house on North Star Ranch and spends most of her time caring for animals, gardening and doing house chores. Amy became more active on social media in 2023, posting more frequently on Instagram at Amma Brown Wolf Pack Mama. She has a cat, cyberspace, and several horses. She looks considerably healthier, enjoys photographing the landscapes near her house, and claims to live a blessed life despite all the tragedies thanks to her children and grandchildren. Matthew William Matt Brown had the most tumultuous time in the show. The couple's eldest child lived through the Alaskan settlement period as a young boy, and was the one who said in the early episodes that all nine members of his family lived in one cabin and developed a unique wolf pack dialect that prompted online discussions about its origins. Matt was resourceful, strong, and masculine on the surface, but his transformation or rather devolution, occurred behind the scenes. He struggled with alcohol and substance abuse, and later claimed that the production crew worsened things by giving him cocaine. If true, they undoubtedly wanted more drama, and Matt's unhinged behavior and family conflicts delivered. He checked into an alcohol addiction rehabilitation center in 2016, where he spent 35 days. He was absent from the show after 2017 staying in Los Angeles when his family moved from California to Washington State. He went into rehab again in late 2017 and was accused of sexually assaulting two women. In 2019, he either quit the show or was fired by TLC and cut contact with his family. Matt turned things around though, started a YouTube channel, now under the handle at I Am The Road Wanderer, and got into working out, celebrating four years of sobriety in March 2022. He also claimed that his family needed to be more forthcoming, as they stayed in motels when not filming, and took vacations in exotic places. Also, they had a generator, television, and occasionally used electricity. Matt is a different person in 2023. He's revealed that he's single, and still wants nothing to do with his family. He enjoys late evening walks, hiking rugged terrains and mountaineering. He's climbed Chopaka Mountain in Washington State, near where he lives. Matt is active on Instagram with the handle at mattbrown511 and updates his YouTube channel regularly. He uploads vlogs, records music videos for popular songs, comments on the entertainment industry, and discusses the pros and cons of his daily job in an orchard. He also helps others recover from their addictions and celebrates the power of true friendship, specifically of his friend Michael, rather than family during tough times, but Matt is a devout Christian to this day too. Many viewers named Joshua Bam Bam Brown the cutest of the brothers and the most educated. Like his siblings, Bam Bam was highly knowledgeable about the bush people's lifestyle, but seemed to prefer fishing. He spent much time on the family's fishing boat and loved water in general. He portrayed the image of an aggressive know-it-all and so clashed with his siblings. Luckily, Bam Bam hasn't been a cast member of Alaskan Bush People since 2017, all because of his relationship and consequently became a much nicer, calmer person. In 2016, he began dating the show's field producer, Allison Kagan, and wanted to live elsewhere. Bam Bam said that strolling down the sidewalk was a new experience, and he loved being recognized.
He claimed that Allison, a city girl, stirred something inside him that woke him, but he hoped they would return to Alaska at some point. The couple later started building a house near North Star Ranch, although allegedly distant from his siblings' parcels. He announced his plans for a house made from a retired 100-foot luxury yacht that he bought for $55,000 in 2016. Despite his departure from the show, Bam Bam was by his mother's side in Los Angeles in 2017, and after his father's death, posted a lengthy goodbye on his Instagram account, at Respect the Danger. Additionally, Bam Bam's posted regularly using show-related hashtags in the last few years and inherited his mother's love for photography. He's fascinated by the flowers and off-the-grid lifestyle, particularly hunting and gathering, and has shared images of Washington State wildlife, from deer to hawks and peacocks. Bam Bam's personality remains identical to that which he displayed in the show, except that he prefers to continue his lifestyle away from the spotlight with the woman he loves. The only exception was media coverage when he crashed his GMC truck in May 2022 to avoid a Chevy Camaro crossing into oncoming traffic. Two women died in the Chevy, but the investigation revealed that Joshua didn't cause the accident. Solomon Isaiah Freedom Bear Brown is the couple's third eldest son, who was recently painted in a negative light. It didn't start that way. Most fans remember that Bear went on his first official date in the fourth episode of the fourth season, displaying a somewhat awkward but charming personality. When he met Raven Adams, a city girl, things looked good for him. She was fascinated by the off-the-grid lifestyle, and the Brown family welcomed her. Bear became engaged to her in 2019, and they married in January 2022 after three years of an on-and-off relationship. They had two sons, River and Cove, but things went awry in March 2022, when Raven accused him of domestic abuse. He was charged with domestic violence in the fourth degree, and signed a plea deal to be released. That was a typical for Bear, and fans were shocked to read that he was cussing loud, pushing the unnamed victim, presumably Raven down, and acting crazy. They split in February 2023, only a month after Cove's birth, which was unfortunate because Cove had worrying health issues. Regardless, Raven moved out and announced on her social media that she would be a single parent. Bear stated in June 2023 that he would move to North Star Ranch and leave Raven in Texas. He maintains his social media presence on his Instagram account at Beer Brown King of Extreme, named after the nickname The Show, and coined due to his daredevil feats. He proved that in May 2023 by climbing a 9 meters or 30 feet tall windmill without a security harness, which most viewers did not celebrate, considering his two notable accidents. In 2018, a branch scratched his cornea, forcing him to wear an eye patch. Then five years later, he rushed to the ER for a tetanus shot because he impaled himself with rusty barbed wire. Gabriel Gabe Starbuck Brown, the fourth-born son in the Brown family, always had a positive attitude about working hard. Like Noah and Joshua, he's developed a special love for the sea and other bodies of water. Unlike his siblings, he has a penchant for drawing, particularly realistic portraits, and has considered a career as an artist. According to his wife, Gabe is also fluent in sign language and has a great sense of humor. However, he also slowly reduced the number of appearances in the show when he started his family. Gabe married Rockwell Rose Pantilla in 2019 and is enjoying life away from cameras with their two children, one of whom is a daughter, Sophie. Additionally, Gabe makes cameos in the show whenever his family members need his help on a project. He lived on North Star Ranch and mentioned that he plans to use reclaimed wood from an old mine trail to expand his homestead. Perhaps the most drastic, though unexplained transformations are his dental procedures, which gave him a lisp and that he seems to prefer wearing goth-style clothing, complete with black eyeliner, instead of his old, survival-oriented clothes. Gabe has put on quite a lot of muscle since he debuted in the show, and now sports a Viking-like beard and long, curly hair that he sometimes ties into a bun. He uses his Instagram, at GabrielStarbuckBrown11, to promote his Cameo account with the same handle, through which he responds to fans' questions, records video messages, or chats for a fee. Noah Dark Cloud Brown was a loving son and a hard worker, 
best known for his love of tinkering, hunting, and singing. He found the love of his life, Rain Alisha, a girl from Oregon, and married her in 2018 after a period of courting that included sending letters. Amy was initially cold to her as she was born Ruth Alisha Merrill, but had chosen a bush name similar to Rain, then eventually accepted her. A new shock followed. Noah called his family overbearing and moved to Trinidad in Colorado State in 2018. Billy supported his son's desire to distance himself and reportedly bought the Colorado house. Although it was never depicted in the show, Noah was interested in becoming a diesel mechanic, so viewers thought this could be the reason. Instead, Noah wanted to raise a family and had two sons, Elijah E. Lee Kana, in February 2020, and Adam in October 2021. The family moved to North Star Ranch after 2018, but Noah and his wife were unlucky in that the 2020 Palmer wildfire destroyed everything. So he began rebuilding, but in the show's 14th season, explained that he wanted to live in Alaska with rain when he retires and leave the Washington State parcel to his sons. He promptly bought an island and promised to go there every spring or summer to start building slowly. Noah is much more active on social media in 2023 and has created a YouTube channel at Alaska Noah Brown and a cameo account at Noah DC Brown. Both contain his survival tips and tricks and display his love for boating and fishing, which he wants to share with his sons. His wife posts extra information about their life on her Instagram at Rainalisha. Amora Jen Snowbird Bird Brown is the older of the two daughters born to Amy and Billy. She proved capable and fearless from the get-go. When the family began building their homestead in the second season, in an episode Birdie Get Your Gun, Bird took a weapon to the forest on what the narrator explained was the bear's turf. Three episodes later, the family found rogue bears rummaging in the woods beside their home site. Most things have stayed the same as of 2023. Bird is still a fiercely autonomous person who loves hunting and fishing, but celebrates National Bird Day. She's close with Rain, and they consider each other their best friends, even to the point of calling each other wifey, and loved her father dearly. After Billy died, Bird tearfully said, It's tough to think about life without Dad. Dad has always been my hero, and he always will be. She is active on Instagram, TikTok, and Cameo, using the handle at snowbird907brown mostly, and posting selfies of herself and her sister both of whom are single and devoted to Christianity. Bird and Rain are equally passionate about animals. Besides cats and dogs, Bird posted images of bunnies, cows, chickens, and her favorite insect, a butterfly. She struggled with a precancerous tumor that doctors removed during the premiere of the show's 14th season. It weighed 3.5 kilograms or 8 pounds and pressed on her ovaries, Doctors removed all of it, but Bird said that it had a high chance of returning. Merry Christmas Catherine Raindrop Brown, better known as Rainy or Rain, is the couple's younger daughter, born on 23 November 2002, so everyone frequently doted on her. However, she's grown into an independent person worthy of respect. Rain is single and has reportedly been infatuated only once, when 15. She promised to hold off on dating until she met someone who would fascinate her, but clarified that she was straight and Christian. She had to. She calls her fans rainbows, which some took as a hint that she's lesbian. Rain advocates equality and female empowerment and is a big fan of Sam Smith, Thomas Sanders, and Lady Gaga. She spends all her free time with her mother, sister, and animals. She has two dogs. Jackson Maine Brown, which she adopted in 2019, and an Australian Shepherd, Harley, whose picture she first posted in late 2020. Those demonstrated that Rain's love for animals hasn't waned over time. The show's viewers may remember that she had two cats, Gypsy and Mr. Chipmunk Cheeks, and a black dog, Mr. Cupcake, all having passed away since. Rain also has several birds, goats, four rabbits, and two horses. Rain agreed with Bird's sentiments about their father, adding, Dad was my guardian angel. No matter what happened, he would always be there. She also considers her mother an angel and felt blessed to have grown up with her. Like her sister, Rain is active on several social media websites, mainly using the handle at Hero of Kirquel 77, 
which she used in early 2023 to reveal the story behind what seems to be her first tattoo, a replica of Mr. Cupcake's paw print on her hand. Rain also used social media to confess that being an aunt to Ely and Adam, Noah's children, was her favorite thing about herself. She also proudly stated that her mission had always been to be sweet, kind, and giving to those in need, and sharing the wonderful light of God. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.